Oh, and in this video, we'll be looking at making a bill of material for an assembly, so specifically the selfie stick, and then placing it in a drawing page and using balloons to label the parts of our selfie stick. So in a previous video, we already made an exploded view. We're going to use that in our drawing. Uh, so first, we're going to start with our bill of material, which is over here on the right-hand side. It's, it says BOM table. That stands for bill of material. So we're going to click on that. And then it gives us a bill of material. Uh, right now, it's got item number and quantity, part number, and description. Uh, some of these you may not want. So, like part number, there's nothing there. I may want to remove that count. Uh, description, you may want to keep, you may want to get rid of. Uh, it just depends on what you plan to do with your description, if you plan to add descriptions or not. I'm going to keep it on there for now, and you'll see why in a little bit. Uh, but another column I want to add is the name. I want to know what the name of these parts are. So I add a name. It defaults adds it all the way on the right hand side, but you can right click and I'm going to move it left and then I'm going to move it left again. So right after the number, I know what the part is and then I know the quantity. Most of them have parts and it's got names <coughs> that you can recognize what it is. Uh, but the first one just says part one. That's the screw that we imported in. Uh, so if we look at it, over here on the right hand side, it just says part one. Uh, I'm going to right click on that and look at the properties. Uh, so right now it doesn't have it. You can't change the name because of the way it's imported. Uh, what we need might want to do is give it a description. Uh, so if you don't remember or if you want to find what that part actually is or what its name was, uh, we can open that link document. So if I open that link document, it's going to take me, open a new tab and take me to what that piece is called. And it tells me it's a plastic head thumb screw. Uh, so I'm going to go back to my previous tab and part one, properties, name that description, plastic head thumb screw. Uh, you could put the size of it in there if you wanted, but for right now, plastic head thumb screw is going to work for me. I want to hit save. And that's why I left description on here so we could have that description with our bill of material. Uh, all the rest, you could go back and add descriptions, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I have enough description in the name to know what it is. Uh, so now we have our bill of material. Uh, so next, I'm going to go to a drawing page. So I'm going to hit the plus sign for a drawing. I'm going to create a drawing. I'm going to use my template. You don't have to use a template. You can use one of the default ones, but I'm going to use my template for this case. Once my template pops up, then to get your uh, image on, uh, just as before, it defaults to what we want, the selfie stick. Uh, but this time we want an assembly. We don't want the part. We want the whole assembly. So I'm going to click assembly one. Uh, it defaults to your default view. We don't want that. We want the exploded view so we can see those different parts. So I made that exploded one in a previous video. So I'm going to hit explode one. Uh, then you can see how it fits. You may need to change the scaling on yours depending on how it fits. Uh, you can make it bigger, especially if you use a larger seat, uh, but I'm okay with that for now. I placed it in the middle. I probably said to place it to a side, so I'm going to move it over to the side here. Uh, once I've placed it, Next thing I'm going to do is add a bill of material. So that bill of material we just uh, created. And if we come up top, we can click on this BOM table and we can add that table. Uh, you can place it wherever you need to. So I'm just going to place it down here on the lower right hand side. And you can see it adds it. Uh, in this case, I'm going to move it up a little bit so it doesn't overlap. And we can see our item number, name, quantity, descriptions. Uh, then we want to label the different parts. It's got a number, and I don't know what that goes to on the table. To do that, all you have to do is come up here to where it says call out, the call outs, what these are going to be, these balloons are going to be. Uh, it defaults to table item number, that's what I want. And then all you have to do is click on the item, and then you can drag out. And it gives me a 2, and I can place that 2. And you can see stick bottom 1 is 2. Uh, so then I want to label each piece one time. So I'm going to go through and label, and I'm going to try to line up my numbers there. And I'm just clicking on the different pieces. I try to line up my numbers just to make it neat and organized. Uh, when you pull these out, I'm going to zoom in so you can see better. When you pull these numbers out, you don't want them coming out directly horizontal or directly vertical. Uh, you can take them to either side. So like if I'm doing uh, this top piece, 
I might want to take the left side. Or if I have a bunch of pieces together, like the screw I have here, I might take this to the right side, but then the piece next to it, I might take to the left side. And it automatically defaults into the number. You don't have to do any calculating to figure that out. So right here where they're really close together, I'm going to take them different directions. And again, I'm going to try to line them up just to keep things organized. Uh, so I got this piece here. I'm going to bring it over to the side. And then I'm just going to keep alternating as I go. Bring over a 7. And then finish up with not with my top piece number 4. So that's got them all labeled. Uh, if you needed to, you could put a larger image in. Uh, but for me, that's going to suffice. I hit my green check to accept all of them. And that's how you add in an exploded view with a bill of material and balloon label them. Uh, hopefully this helps you to uh, create a labeled exploded view of an assembly. Thank you and good luck.